I mean, in every single role, you have to be expecting that it's not going to be the easiest time mechanically or during laning phase. In the later stages, though, it's going to be very easy for Linderong to match the Zed in bottom lane and then enable Mickey to continue scaling because it is a red side Zed. Having a little bit of a skirmish here over the Wraiths. The fight over the Raptors, and it looks like Linderong picked up the big Raptor. I'll hold that thought. Actually, Mickey pushing in really far. And he's another turret shot here. Pawn, he might just be able to get a solo kill, let alone the Gragas that was, that was coming from the left side. Mickey actually does escape to the right side. It looks like they didn't know exactly where uh, Songwon was. So they did not chase. But he's going to be on a ward again. And there's the flash from Score and a flash away from Mickey. So he will maybe get away. Pawn flashing in for the first blood. Now trading a bit with Sungwon. And it looks like he will go down as well. So train the one for one, but KT does pick up first blood. Nice pickup of first blood for KT, but still a little bit bizarre to watch the mechanical failures keep happening. It's gonna come down to the smite fight, and it looks like Sungwon will pick that up a little bit early there for score. Meanwhile, having a bit of a trade here in mid, missing those shurikens does end up being slightly advantageous for Mickey. And they're going to be looking for team fights around that point before Rox can scale up a little bit more. But the problem is the clock with the Zed score might just die. OK. Yeah, it gets rooted there. And <laughs> with the follow up and all that Graves damage, didn't even have to use collateral damage. And a really nice play there. Just locking him up, getting that kill. You know, just the team composition of KT. I'll hold that thought. He's, uh, Pawn's going real deep onto Sungwon. Doesn't even do all that much damage, but they find Mickey in the front. He is extremely low. He does just barely go down. This is what we were talking about. Rocks Tigers, a couple of members getting caught out now. Really nice slow there from Mata. That's going to pick them up the second kill and a double kill for Death as well. Talk about more eggs in the basket. Deft is going to be pretty nicely fed. And they know that Lindrong doesn't have TP, and so the game just completely flipped on its head. <laughs> Rock Tigers, they had one job, Brendan, to make use of having three in mid lane, rotating down into bottom, and then having Pawn go from top to mid, and that's going to constantly supply a dance of pressure. Oh, okay, Pawn's going in on this. Immediately cleansing that exhaust, but oh man, the arrow coming through. And Pawn is forced to run away, actually flashing the wall. Does not want any more of that fight. Linderong eating a bunch of damage, will be cast back into the team, but extremely tanky on that Nautilus right now, as is Smeb. They're going to jump on into him, and he will go down. Sungwon laying down a nice bit of damage, but too low to participate anymore. Double kill now on the Smeb as Sangyun gets twisted advanced, and that's going to be two kills and another turret going over to KT. The problem for Rox right there is even with their turret, without Mickey's rise, it's just not enough for them to win a team fight. Now the Baron does dissipate, but it might come at the cost of their bottom inhibitor turret. Mickey has arrived right now, and they're going to be able to keep the turret alive. Big victory right there. Smeb used that twisted advance. So clutch, he was about to get Rune Prison as this team tries to do something in mid lane. Oh, big stun there by score, getting that really nice engage. Now Linderong all alone, essentially up in the front. Smeb will be stunned though, a lot of damage getting onto that tree, but look at the back. Here comes Pawn, he wants to get onto that back line, trying to get down key, does not. Eventually Nautilus does get taken out here. And Deft, you know, very <laughs> healthy still, so he is going to continue the push. But it could have gone a lot worse for KT. Def doing a ton of work right there, and now Baron back on the map. Oh, look at this. Def is going hard. He goes in, picks up another kill. Now 4 0 and 2. And with that red buff, he lands the slow onto Key. Pong looks like he really wanted that kill. Will not find it, though, but a great pickup there, taking out Sangyun in the mid lane. <laughs> just does not carry, just keeps going on, taking a little bit of turret damage. Now, wow, lots of poke coming out from that Ezreal. Sangwon casts his ultimate, just trying to dish out as much damage as possible. But meanwhile, Smeb did rotate 
and escort the wave into bottom. KT should be able to get the bottom turret here. Should just need one more wave. Song Yun, though, only one second away. Doesn't have the Enchanted Crystal Arrow yet, though. So much poke damage landed by both Death and Pawn here. Now we're going to have actually the advance onto Mickey this time. Does have the Zonia, is going to buy himself some time. There's that arrow, Smep getting very low and gets taken out. But here comes Pawn, he's going in 1v5. He might actually be taken out, he does get Dredge Line, picks up that kill though. Oh man, he's actually going to survive oh. somehow, some way, gets out of here. Meanwhile, there's what? no one to deal with Deft. Picks up that kill with the Shuriken somehow, does Pawn, and everybody on the Rocks Tigers that's still alive is super low forced to go back. I have no idea how Pawn just lived throughout all of that. They would be able to know that, okay, well, rocks can't actually do anything as they don't have any waves available to them. There's the, the blue ward and the hawk shout coming out, but look at Linderon teleporting into that back line there. Smeb in the front also trying to lay down that damage. Goes really deep, actually grabs Songyun in the back. Meanwhile, the turrets are going down in the main base. Oh. And KT is on the run. Huge stun there from score. And Rox is just being routed, routed now. Mickey on the run. That's going to be a third kill going over to KT. And it looks like they might be able to pick up Mickey here too. Everyone's going to Disneyland, <laughs> Brendan. <laughs> down he goes. He almost picks up a kill on the way. That's like, okay, I don't even want to do Baron anymore. Let's just win the game. Dev doesn't care, he's headed straight to the Nexus. And Teleport coming in, locking up that turret from Smeb. They're gonna raise this last Nexus turret and there's no one coming, so the Nexus is definitely gonna fall. And Rocks Tigers lose game number two here, despite a fantastic early game. They were in a pretty good spot, they were not able to capitalize though. And as you said, game two goes over to KT and they take the 2-0 victory tonight.